guys today. I wanted to post this Fortnite video on my main channel talking about the new update. Um, just to let you guys know that on my second channel, Molt Plays, I am posting Fortnite every single day. Um, so if you like the game, if you enjoy playing the game, make sure that you head over there. Uh, but Nick and I just kind of go through the update in this and we wanted to talk about it and again share with you guys that our second channels are rolling with Fortnite stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy and after watching this or even right now if you want to head on over there and check out the second channel, Molt Plays. Alright, so uh, the new, Nick, the new update or patch notes, I guess, um, have been uh, announced on the Epic Games uh, website. Yep, a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, state of state yeah, of development juicy. version three. Um, so let's go ahead and just look through some of these things. Obviously, there's a lot that are more important than others, like playing with friends. We can already do that. Um, team yeah. killing. I don't think you really run into unless you're just rolling random. I mean, I've I have shot you with a pistol. Good that is times. true. That is true. Uh, but <laughs> so I mean, yeah, that's gonna apply. The first two topics are mostly for random queue or solo queue players. That's right. good for them. Um, next, um, new shooting model. All right, so overhaul shooting model random, remove random bullet spread. So this is important because the, the line where it says without changing like the flow and wanting to build cover, because if you right. know the, the bullet spread is gone, you would just shoot to kill as you see them because if you start building, they could take you out so quick. Yeah, so it's there. It's they have to try and figure out a way to implement it um, to where the I would say like the bullet spread doesn't need to be a hundred percent on because I think yeah. bloom bloom is good for us to a certain extent, but sometimes it's pretty crazy where I'm like I've shot seven bullets, I'm not hitting this person. What's going on? Um, yeah. But yeah, it is like the thing that I like about this game compared to pub and other battle royale games is that building is so important. Like I've always told you like it's just as important to build a wall as it is to pull out a weapon i think they need to try and maintain that yeah um but yeah it, it does bloom a little too quick like the first and second shots not even knowing if they're gonna collide is a bit uh a shot in the dark with some weapons so that'll be interesting yeah uh inventory, inventory revamp. revamp so this is nice just kind image. of a ui thing yeah so it just seems like it's gonna make it easier new interface is cleaner many of the inventory management tasks are easy to yeah. easier to perform that's good because it is kind of annoying trying to drop stuff sometimes yeah there's like two image there's the quick inventory there's the full inventory everything's in one category and there's no reason to where it is and then you can click it on the bar you can click it in the inventory yeah it, it, it's like you still can't drop med kits for some reason <laughs> yeah i don't know why i can't but yeah it's cool at the bottom you can see where it says split now i don't know if it currently says that but it says uh the main inventory box are quick buttons for splitting and dropping half of any loot to make sharing easier so now it's like do you need ammo cool you just split it and and drop it yeah yeah with one click if it splits and drops it all uh, otherwise you have to click drop and it defaults to half but now drop can default to anything because there's already a split yeah and then rearranging the quick bar with a controller which we don't use is now simpler i can imagine that'd probably be pretty annoying trying to <laughs> trying to reorganize uh, your your ball i've only played one match on the xbox and it's difficult after knowing i have a button for everything on the pc yeah, i bet <laughs> uh, oh, the stats are good yeah the stats are pretty cool i like how they are not just doing like assists revives etc but on the right side it shows you like distance traveled um mm. materials etc and accuracy is a big one too because it can make you feel like you need to uh yeah, work on things that's a little bit. like Pub has a pretty good stat, like, but they after the round is one thing. I like on your profile, you could see like average distance traveled and most distance traveled ever in a round. Those would be cool if it makes its way to your profile permanently. Yeah, that's definitely. It's just, it's just sort of cool to see. That'd be cool. The damage uh, to players will be interesting to see if it lines up with how many kills you have. Like if you have, let's say people are max health, max shield, so 200 damage. So say you kill five people but you have 2,000 damage, then it's like, oh, well, really, I almost killed, like, 10 people. Yeah, but, yeah. that's always, like, okay. currently we wait in our death cam to see how much health they have when we lose. In, like, pub, you just look at your hit points and kill points, and then if they used first aids or stuff, it's going to be higher your damage than your kills. But yeah, it's interesting to see. Next, I would say, is probably the biggest or one of the most exciting parts is the new uh, unique POIs. So, like, that city looks awesome. What, that's like a four-story building. Well, yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, six in the back there. 
Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's how many windows it is. That's crazy. I'm trying to see if I can see where this is in relation to other things. Like, they kind of just threw it down there into that valley, which is cool. There's a new tree design over on the right side. Um, Oh, yeah. But the only place I can think of that there's a building that tall currently or even close to that is factory, like the flush factory, and then the other factory that isn't named on the map. Yeah. Yeah, and then the tall like wooden things out by the woods, those aren't even worth going up because there's just like two landings. But this is like yeah. a big building. That's that's pretty intense. What if you just like built a fort that merges those two buildings into a super building? <laughs> that, and, like the circle ends right there. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, uh, those palm trees look nice. Are that what they are? No. Sorry, not, eh. Um, I don't They're know. They're just like brighter Sometimes, green. Maybe a pine tree. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the yeah. ones down low. They do kind of look like yeah. palm trees. <laughs> Yeah, at first they did, but now they just look different. Um, okay. So that would be cool. I wonder uh, I wonder how many POIs are going to add. swamp. Well, oh, yeah, well, Marcy Meyer is kind of a swamp as it is, but that'll be cool yeah. to mountain region. If they add snow and stuff like that up higher, that'll Oof. be really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, Updating cosmetics. existing. Yeah, so oh. this, is, this is awesome. I wish that you could customize, like, you could throw on hats. Like, they kind of force you to an entire body layout you know oh yeah like they choose everything i think it'd be cool if um wait so this is what's this an example of our initial uh, version of you... the next step is adding more unique detail while still preserving oh. the original mess like you can see there's more detail in this with uh i don't know like yeah like why do you have rubber gloves on and uh like mask and construction headphones <laughs> <laughs> yeah they look like pilot control headphones yeah that'll be pretty cool we don't want to stop there understand their desire for variations with strong personality uniqueness a sense of cool yeah like the uniqueness is what i'm talking about how we can add stuff to it um yeah and full... like if you could have your emblem on your on your shoulder or something that like otherwise like you can't see it like what's the point of it yeah that would be kind of cool if you had yeah if you had your emblem if you had your emblem on there um yeah now, the next thing is one thing that I've mentioned a lot, we've talked about, especially in comparison to pub, um, footsteps on different surfaces. That's huge because if someone's up in the attic, it sounds like they're walking on grass. If someone's walking on grass, it sounds like they're up in the attic. And yeah. I've been killed so many times trying to find people. Like you're looking up and they're actually in the bush right next to you. <laughs> yeah, it's just volume right now. That's the only difference. And like half the Ooh. time you'll be like, I'll be like, where is he? Where is he? And you're like, and then we'll just die. And it's like, okay, he was actually uh, above me. Right. But- the next one is cool. Quieter teammate footsteps. Now we don't. Now I don't have to say, be quiet, be quiet. If I hear loud footsteps, I know people mm. are close. Yeah. A lot of yeah. Commu- the teammates are no different than enemies right now. And it's very confusing. We have to stop and like resync every couple minutes. Yeah, I remember in pub we would take our shoes off so that we could kind of tell the difference between footsteps um and then vertical audio is another thing that's really good uh with footsteps above or below like in the basement of some houses and then the rest of it i don't really think is too big like trap audio (laughs) trap less consistently noisy yeah it is yeah there it's so loud especially the roof trap (laughs) yeah when well subtle gunshot audio that doesn't follow you it's like it's not in the world and point of muzzle flash muzzle flash oh Pan to left or right as you move away from it. Reduce huh. confusion during heated combat. Yeah, that's good. Trying to find people. While subtle, gunshot audio that you create doesn't follow you. I don't know. I guess that that would make sense. If you shoot looking to the left and then turn right, it could sound like someone's back over to your left when they're not. Yeah. Eh. That is confusing. I yeah. Guess, but... I don't know if I've ever noticed it, but maybe once they fix it, you can notice a difference. Limited yeah. time modes in December, temporary experience, special conditions. Uh, oh, whatever limited that time is. modes. That'll be cool. Yeah, they mentioned that before, the time modes um, or the new game modes. I wonder, do you think time modes is different than game modes? Like that's like day or night, um, yeah? Temporary experience, special conditions. Well, I think it'll be like they can just throw for like the next 12 hours, like SMGs are... 900 round magazine like they could just make mods like that live oh or like all uh, legendary rocket launchers spawn like 20 times as more often or something Who knows? yeah server optimization it, it, that's yeah. good map uh, stream yeah the last patch had so many people online yesterday it was nuts um 
extensive frame. streaming. This is all just more tech stuff down here. Yeah, regions, Controls. like, we're fine. Aim assist uh, behavior is being adjusted. Oh, that's for if you use a controller. Cough, yeah. cough. Leaderboards and stats. That's kind of cool. Um, more stats. Yeah. A lot more stats. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I feel like everybody just likes stats. Oh, there's uh, third party, three third-party sites for stats. Oh. oh. Nice. So you guys can check those out. Com. Yeah. I just went to it. Enter Fortnite name. Season oh, store. We're significantly evolving the concept of the season store. Single purchase pass system containing tons of loot that can be acquired as you play and complete quests. That's awesome. We are also adding free seasonal loot. Yeah, because the only ones this time around was uh, the glider at level 25 and the pickaxe at level 35, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I didn't see another one. And I mean, obviously we're not like level 100 like some people, but I didn't see any other thing. So that'd be cool. I like an an incentive to play because right now quests just give you experience. But if it's like win yeah. five matches and get this dope uh, skin or something, I, I think, think even really if good. the there's a profile and like the season, like a level 100 is like really epic each season and it stays on your profile what level you were each season, that also would be incentive enough for some people. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, just to like have a record where it's like, wow, he hit 100 the last 10 seasons in a row. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Uh, new items, awesome. We're just beginning to scratch the surface. That's so sick. Custom games, early efforts exploring. It's how funny because they had like the most basic weapons and they just like added all the things that are kind of normal and a couple of unique ones. But like there's so many weapons in other games that they could just put in and be like, here's yeah. a new one. <laughs> it's cool that they have like the bush, like the bush is a hilarious addition. I'm sure there are going to be some other really, really comical ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, custom, that'll be cool. <laughs> Especially if we're going to be like streaming and we want to make a lobby where it's like two versus 98, but we have like five times health <laughs> yeah <laughs> it could be ridiculous yeah like a big uh, boss battle performance over yeah. visual whatever badges we want to introduce medals during games oh, that highlight amazing you players see, that's cool you see the we're, we're, we're focus is providing a rock solid 30 fps experience on console I, when we're in the lobby i'm clocking at like 500 FPS. yeah that's ridiculous oh uh. The next thing's really cool. So at the end, it'll you'll get like a medal. Like if I uh, got a killing spree or like if I killed three people in a row, then at the end, it would like show up. Mm. Yeah, it's like uh, like a COD play of the game or Halo uh, yeah. kill, kill, uh, best elimination of the match. Yeah, that's awesome. I like how at the yeah. end they say our goal is to be transparent and accountable. Um, that's really cool. It seems like they've it's listened to a lot of stuff. It's just crazy how this big of a team, they're just pumping out info and up like so much like yeah. every week. They're working it's... really, really hard. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely excited for all this. Yeah. Cool. But that's uh, that's it for this little wrap up here. You guys know we've been posting on our second channels, like we said in the beginning. Yeah. Stop by for some fun and stay tuned as we are going to be venturing into streaming very soon. Anything else to add? Nope, that's all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know your comments down below, how you're feeling about all this. If you think there are other updates they should do, what kind of weapons they should add, game modes, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we'll see you guys in the arena.